Right, well I don't know whether or not we've got time now on this tape still to continue, but um, if we have, um, here, now, uh, you all were asked to see the house that we've just moved into. Um, you all know the story that we got fed up with the gold company in Waihe and we moved here. Uh, I think you've all been told that they helped us financially to move and since coming into this house we've spent I think pretty near $15,000 so far on doing this house up. New ceilings, new carpets, new floor, new lino, vinyl rather they call it. Um, we just about put a complete new inside in this house. So anyway, for those of you who wanted to see the house that we've now moved into at Waitak here, uh, here we are, the house. Well, one of the things we've uh, changed this year, of course, is the car. Uh, we changed the colour from a yellow to a brown this time. I suppose you've got these cars in England, I don't know, but they're... Um, a Japanese make. They seem to be getting very popular now in New Zealand. Uh, it's a Toyota Cressida. One of the main reasons for changing the car is to get a more powerful car. This is a 2 litre or 2000 cc's. Uh, we bought this one so that we could tow the, uh, the caravan better. And of course we have changed the caravan too. We've got a bigger caravan now. I'll show you that in a second. The uh, Toy Toy Toyota car company in this country, um, they, they shipped them here in pieces from Japan and they have built and put together just up the road from here in Thames. And there's the caravan we've just bought, a 15 footer which gives us a lot more room than the, uh, the little 11 foot one we had. Well I suppose another couple of weeks, three weeks anyway, another week after Christmas and uh, we'll be all set to go camping again. Most likely we'll go down to our usual spot along the beach. So when we film this year's summer holiday we'll be uh, filming it with this caravan. and towed by the bigger car. Well, as we promised, we said we'd film the house for you. And there it is. You'll probably get the roar of traffic going by here. We're on State Highway 25 and the traffic here whizzes by coming from Auckland and going to Thames and the Coromandel. Anyway, there's the house and uh, we paid 37000 for this one. It needs a lot of, well, I say needs a lot of work. Not now it doesn't, we've mostly done it. We've um, completely re-renovated re the inside of the house and Sheila's been busy working on the gardens. There was absolutely nothing here on the garden when we first moved in. And we've been here six, nearly seven months, I suppose now. And Sheila's done a lot of work on the garden. Before we take you inside the house and show you around, uh, i just point out that um, I can just see on the back there where I've been building, we've been building the, the, the sunroom on the back. There's Sheila there now coming through. Probably going to do some more work on the, uh, the garden there. Anyway, we'll take a look up the road. There's traffic all whizzing by here. Looking just around the garden and... That way, up the main highway, 
is Auckland. Auckland is just one hour's drive from here. Although we can meet, reach the main outskirts of Auckland within 45 minutes. Looking along State Highway 25 the other way, one long stretch of road right through countryside and in the distance you can see the hills. The other side of those hills is the, the main beaches and just this side of the hills, uh, which is about takes us about 20 minutes to get there from here, is the uh, township of Thames. Nothing to do with Thames in England. We go there shopping once a week to Thames, as I say it only takes about 20 minutes to get there. As you can see and here the traffic comes past here pretty quick. They're supposed to go at 70 through here but they mostly go at a, travel at 100. Just down there now where that truck is the, the open road now is uh, 100 kilometres an hour down there now. But each weekend and um, during holiday times there is thousands and thousands of holiday makers going by the door here on uh, the State Highway 25 going out to all the beaches. Now if I come round in front of us all we have is open paddocks. We're living here on the uh, Haraki Plains. It's all flat land for miles and miles and miles. Now I don't know whether you can see in the distance uh, the hills. Those hills are 60 kilometres away and on the top of the uh, the peak there is our television transmitter where we get our television pictures from and behind the hills another couple of kilometres, uh, 62 kilometres from here is where we used to live at Waihe. But it's all open country, flat plains, all farmland. Just across the other side of the road from us we have a peat factory making peat so it's handy to get the peat for the garden and just along there where that car is coming by now, only three doors along we have the takeaway shop, fish and chips, uh, dairy for our milk and uh, there's also a second hand shop there just a few doors along, or well, three doors along actually just where those vehicles are parked outside and the other way, looking at, towards Thames, we, um, we have Bill's Place. That's a fish, wet fish takeaway, and uh, he just sells it from the house. On both sides of us, we have uh, neighbours at their house there, uh, over the hedge. Uh, they're a young Maori uh, couple with a kitty and coming around our neighbours on the other side are also a Maori couple and um, they're old Maoris, they're uh, getting on for 80 and uh, they of course keep a lovely garden, beautiful garden over there they've got. So we have um, Maoris living both sides of us. And you've of course seen the Maoris on television many times. Now we're at the back of the house and from the, our back view we have in front, first of all here we got peach trees, a row of peach trees growing and all there is over the back there is paddocks again. Over in the background you can just see an embankment, I don't know whether I'll come up in for a close-up look. Across the paddocks there is a bank 
and just the other side that is the sea. The sea comes in like a big basin there. Way, way over in the distance is also the hills of the Coromandel Peninsula. And they're all holiday beaches right the way through there. What did you say? Birds in the field. Birds out Birds there. The field. Yeah, you won't pick them up much on this sort of thing. I could try and come in there's I'll go out there in the front. Yeah you can I don't know you can pick up the cows I think out there alright. There's a cabbage tree in front of us. That's, that's what we call a cabbage tree. That uh, there is a water supply tank which we use as a shed now. You can just see the cows through the through there in the paddocks. And the hills in the background, um, over the other side of the hills, we go right the way around as an hour's drive from here, is Auckland. And over the back of those hills you can see it all lit up at night um, from the um, lights of Auckland. But we've got no neighbours on the front or the back of us, we just look out across paddocks. And we know that the sea is just over the bank there. You can see the, the bank comes right the way right in here, look, there comes the bank here. And uh, the sea comes right in over that, up to that. Although, unfortunately, we can't see the sea from here. We can see the sea if I go up on the roof and, and look across. Right, now we're looking at the back of the house now and first of all that is our emergency water supply just in case we get cut off because we are out in the middle of nowhere here on the Haraki Plains. Um, we've been here as I say nearly seven months and of course I think we've been cut off a couple of times but uh, it soon comes back on again but it's just an emergency tank for water. Those old windows laying there in the front uh, there I'm going to take down the dump there what we've ripped out of the house. There's the sunroom under there and the veranda. And the barbecue in front of that. The Sheila's wheelbarrow hiding behind it. There we are, there's our barbecue area. Veranda and looking at the sun house, a uh, sun room. The boys come up and give me a hand to put the main beams in but the rest of the work I, I did myself. Going through the door of the sun room, in the sun room and through the next door you then go into the dining room. Looking around from the sun room, going the other way, garden shed and out across that view we've got across the paddocks knowing that the sea is just over the back Crikey, did we look like that? There's a flashback in the past Anyway, we're going to have a look around the inside of the house now just a quick look Right, well, just a, a quick look around the lounge, the normal thing, television. In the, um, the window is a window seat. Tina, uh, Sheila made all the curtains for the place herself. And this, of course, is the lounge. We'll just come quickly round. By the way, the, well, even all the ceilings were completely uh, redone. The first thing we did was put new ceilings, ceilings up. This was um, a three bedroom house when we first moved in and uh, we've just changed it into a two bedroom house. This, the lounge, used to be um, the main bedroom but we thought we'd make it into the lounge, it's more comfortable. And then from the lounge we go into the hall.
then from the lounge out into the hall as I said and into the bathroom. It's only just a small bathroom and the shower at the end there. Then from the bathroom it's just a question of going across the hall again to the bedroom. Our bedroom. Then from our bedroom into the kitchen. Right, well now we're just looking around the kitchen 